Greetings, Henry. I hear you on the Rat Eye Tourney. Well done, lad. I have some news about the investigation, sir. Good. Tell me. I went to Ujit, where they told me I could find Lubosh. Only someone had murdered him. It seems they're trying to cover their tracks and get rid of witnesses. Indeed. The whole affair's becoming ever more suspicious. Have you any further clues? I found out about another one of them, a crony of Limpy Lubosh's. They call him Riki, and he comes from Nadechko. You're doing a good job, but you need to be careful. Have you found this Riki fellow? I'm afraid my news isn't good, sir. Hmm. I might have expected as much. Tell me the worst. This Riki fellow was hiding out in the woods, and his former accomplices really did want to kill him, because he, Limpy Lubosch and others deserted them in Neuhof. It seems they wanted no part in the killing. Anyway, Riki told me they were hired by a bandit they call Runt. He's the one who stole your sword. Those murdering whore sons weren't after loot. They just wanted to do damage. And the worst thing is, they have an encampment in the area, and they're getting ready to make more trouble. Sacra. Anything else? That's all I've found out so far, sir. All right. Come back and report to me as soon as you learn anything new. Sir, I've been to Ujits, and the parish priest there is very odd indeed. He's very handy with a sword. Do you know anything about him, sir? Godwin? Aye, an intriguing fellow. He's the youngest son of one of the lords of Kuttenberg. He was sent to the university to become a priest, as is customary with the youngest son. But he didn't much care for it. So when he finished studying, instead of taking up his parish, he went roaming. I imagine he had a pretty adventurous life. And then one day he came back and settled down. Hanush would know more about him. About that encampment, sir. What is it, lad? I found out about the camp from another of the bandits who deserted. He's called Timmy. Big fellow, but more brawn than brain. The camp is an abandoned village in the woods to the west of Townberg. Good work, lad. Have you been to check it out? Do you know how many of them there are? I don't know much apart from where it is. We really need to find out more. Could you go back there and try to discover anything that could help us in the assault? The more we know, the better. And if you could carry out some sabotage while you're in there, it would be invaluable. But don't take any unnecessary risks. I don't want to lose you. Certainly, sir. That is... I'll do what I can. That's what I like to hear. You'll be our eyes and ears, lad. Our success will depend on what you find out. Go, and get back here as soon as you can. Meanwhile, I'll muster my men. I'll find out what I can and be right back. get all the way to the camp unobserved this way. Our attack would catch them by surprise, but then we'd run straight into the middle of the Cumans. take a while to get across, and there's nowhere to shelter from arrows. A bridge. That'll make it easier to cross the earthworks. There's open ground on both sides of it, but it's the fastest route for an attack. Hey, what are you no. doing here? Part of <laughs> The 
stockade. A handful of men could hold it for quite a while. Rosayan, what do you do, man? Those heathens are a lot tidier than the bandits. Well, you won't be shooting these arrows. I'd like to see you try shooting these now. a long way from that steep. Do you have anything to say? I didn't do nothing wrong. Let me go. I'm not going to go. It's a shag. Az egész az ő hibája volt. I heard you had some trouble with our human brothers. Kiprovokálta a harcot, amikor a cimboráival leszúrtak két ember. He started fight. His friend killed two men. It's just even dogs, so don't listen to what they're saying. For the last time, Sigismund's mercenaries are guests in our camp, and we treat guests as our own. Mi itt vendégek vagyunk, ezért tisztelettel kell, hogy bánjanak velünk. Igen, ennek így kell lennie. How do you want to punish him? Milyen büntetést tart tudod számolni? Engedd szabadon. A többiek emlékezni fognak rá. Let him go. Others will remember it. You let these dogs tell you what to do. And you call yourself a leader. <coughs> No more unnecessary fighting. We are one camp, one army. So fucking remember that. What are you what? doing here? Tired of labor? Hey, all of you, gather I'm here. This. Raise the alarm. Alarm! Raise the alarm! Watch out! Come here, Lily Lover! Hey, all of you! Get out of here! Raise the alarm! Greetings. What do you need? I'm back from scouting, sir. Excellent. What have you found out? They're up to something in the middle of the camp. It looked like they were making several long ladders. Ladders? That sounds like they're planning a siege. I like this less and less. On the other hand, we can use that to our advantage. If we can capture those ladders, we can use them to scale their own fortifications. I took a look at their arms and armor. They're not a proper army, but they're equipped quite well. What about archers?
There's a few of them, and they're positioned well. If we charge them head on, they'll probably do us a lot of damage. I don't like the sound of that. It complicates the situation. Dealing with them before the battle would be the best option. There aren't just bandits in the camp. There are cumans too, quite a few of them. Cumans, you say? Where the hell did they come from? Could Sigismund have left them there after he raised Scalitz? This is looking more and more serious. It's mostly bandits in the camp. They're not villagers with pitchforks, but not regular soldiers either. <laughs> no more than I expected. I have no fear of them, but underestimating the enemy can be fatal. I tried to count them. And how many of them are there? Bear in mind I'm relying on what you say. We'll have to call for reinforcements, and that's no simple matter. Every man that comes with us will be lacking somewhere else. And I don't want bandits pillaging some other town because there's no one left to mount a defence. There is a few, but not enough to give us too much trouble. Hmm. We should be able to handle that if Sir Robard sends us a few men. There's an overgrown, ruined village in the woods where they're dug in. That sounds like Pribislavitz. He used to belong to Sir Divish before Havel Medic attacked and torched it, and then imprisoned Divish. It's been left abandoned ever since. I was hoping they wouldn't be so organised. Earthworks and fortifications... That's quite a different matter from writing some rabble out of the woods. That's about all I saw, sir. I didn't notice anything else. That's all right. Did you manage any sabotage while you were there, as I asked you? I managed to destroy some of their arrow supplies, so they'll have less ammunition. Well done. That's just what we need. That's all, sir. Don't worry, Henry. You've proven yourself an excellent spy. I need you to go to Sir Divish in Talmberg and tell him to send Captain Robard and his men to our aid. There's not enough of us here in the camp. You can rely on me, sir. What should I tell him? Tell him to take half his men and march to Pribislavitz. We'll meet there and mount an attack together. All right, I'll get going. And be quick. We've no time to spare. God be with you. God be with you. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? Sir Radzik sent me with an important message. He asked for reinforcements. He needs more men? What's going on? The bandits and Cumans have set up camp in Pribislavitz. They're preparing for something. Sir Radzik wants to mount an assault on them, but he doesn't have enough men. Hang on. Easy now. From the beginning. What happened? I managed to track down the camp of the bandits who raided Neuhof. But it's not just a gang of brigands, more like a small army in a fortified encampment. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure they're getting ready for something. And Sir Radzik wants to destroy them before they get a chance. So it's worse than I thought. But Sir Radzik is right. We should do something about them before it's too late. I'll send my soldiers. Sir Radzik said to take at least half of your men. We're to go to Pribislavitz with them and mount an assault together. All right then. Sir Radzik knows what he's doing. I'll muster the men and send them with Captain Robard in command. Would you lead my men there right now? Yes, sir. May God be with you in battle. May the Lord watch.